sir that we have discussed about uh, cardinalities so i'll uh, run through those cardinalities one more time for your understanding purpose so i'm sharing my screen so this is very important uh, concept guys let me know once you're able to see my screen how many uh, important uh, views will be there guys in uh, power bi desktop window report view data view model view and report view contains all our visuals the reports the visuals which we have created in our report and data view contains the data that we have imported and model view contains the relation between the tables uh, which we have imported you guys able to see my screen Yes, okay, perfect. Now, so yesterday we have discussed about different different examples. One is one to one cardinality, one to many, many to one, and many to many. So, in those uh, examples, person and passport, these two tables are related. In what manner? One to one. One person can contain only one passport. See here, if you look at this data model between these two tables, what kind of relation uh, these two tables have? it is one to one relation how many tables involved here in this relation two tables okay passport and person perfect and what kind of relation what kind of cardinality we used to, this see here guys here see um, moving my mouse right so here we are having cardinality type cardinality nothing but relation between these two tables is one to one okay <coughs> now so i'll open i'll open that relation by double clicking on that relation line see when we have two tables involved when we have two tables involved in a relation then our cross filter direction will have only these two options single or both okay single in the sense either passport to person side or person to passport side see i'll say single <laughs> what saying the filter direction you selected is not valid for this relation because but these two uh, a relation which contains only two tables that always have both as a filter direction okay now we will go to the other example of many to many where how many tables we have involved here courses students and there is a bridge table in between them okay now how many tables involved in this relation three tables three tables <clears throat> three tables courses students and student uh, versus courses which is a bridge table now in such scenarios if more than two tables involved in a relation then any relation can contain if i open that relation contain the options like this because the relation this relation one to star or star to one one to many or many to one is about between how many tables the relation that have open bridge table and student table we have options like this where is the cardinal days where cardinal days many to one earlier cardinal divas earlier cardinality earlier cardinal divas one to one, one, to one. options available single or both okay even when more than two tables involved in a relation then the relation between any two tables between uh, as among the particular uh, cr uh, er diagram we will have the same options like both are single that is in case of many to one even either many to one or one to many in both cases we'll have both are single now we have seen an example of location wise sales information location wise year wise sales information as i said we have seen through a file location wise sales information that file contains location as a common thing between two tables we are having expenditure data and we are having sales data for a given location and the relation is the common column between these two tables is location and when i open such relation what is the cardinality here guys many to many many to many whenever we have many to many cardinality we will get additional options like this 
both. One second, someone is in the lobby. When we when we have many to many cardinality between two tables, then both and single were the options earlier. Now both remain same, and the other two options are like either single that is sales filters expenditure. That means whenever you choose the common column from the sales table and try to filter the data, then that data needs to filter expenditure data or not. This tells that about this particular sales filters expenditure and reverse way expenditure filters sales. We have seen the example yesterday in our report. In our report, see the first report is sales versus expenditure. This is location wise Amaravati sales is 37 lakhs and expenditure is 3 lakhs. And whereas the second visual is about expenditure versus sales. Anyway, both visuals telling the same kind of data, but but the key parameter that we have taken is different. Like here, we are comparing sales with the expenditure. Here, expenditure with the sales. That's why we are seeing sales in the light blue color, expenditure in thick blue color. Here, in the second visual, expenditure versus sales, expenditure in light blue color, and sales is in thick blue color. Thick blue color. Okay, when you compare the values for Amravati, see for Amravati, sales is 37 lakhs. Yes, sales is 37 lakhs. And expenditure is 3 lakhs here, and expenditure is 3 lakhs. What happened here? When I select this visual, right side, I'll be able to see whichever fields that I have used to construct this visual. Tell me, guys, what is the common column between expenditure and sales tables? Location. Location. Perfect. And location is picked from which table? Expenditure. Expenditure table. So to have correct sale value, see, and we have picked only sale value from sales table. And location we have picked from expenditure table and expenditure data we have picked from expenditure table. And additionally, sales value we have picked from sales table. What kind of cardinality it is, guys? It is many to many. And our visual must show correct values only if if my model contains my model contains cross filter direction either expenditure filter sales or both if my filter contains see if my cross filter direction contains these two values then only my single my second visual will work properly this visual will work properly only if i have cross filter di direction either as both or expenditure filters sales because you have taken common column from expenditure table getting my point guys i'll go to my model i'll go to that relation many to many here what i'll do i'll select this one other way sales sorry expenditure filter sales instead of both expenditure filter sales i'm clicking on okay going to my visual which filter uh, which visual got affected here with incorrect data the first visual First visual got affected. See, earlier all the expenditure were getting shown correctly, but now expenditure value is getting shown incorrectly for each of the city as common value like 48, 48. But my second visual where I have taken location common column from expenditure table and I'm having in the model, I'm having the relation expenditure filter sales. I mean, expenditure is the main table. The flow begins from this direction, expenditure to sales. So that's why my second visual not affected. Now, what I'll do, I'll select first visual. In the first visual, first visual constructed from which which particular tables and fields, guys? From the right side section, tell me. My first visual constructed from which fields of which tables? From sales okay. table, location selected and sales in lakh selected, selected and from expenditure table only expenditure in lakhs selected selected how many tables involved here in this in this visual two tables two tables, two tables sales and expenditure now common call what is the common column between sales and expenditure location location and location is picked from which particular table in this visual from sales table from sales so direction should be from sales to expenditure right 
yes. so best location will be available in sales table so if your model contains the value like from sales to expenditure sales filters expenditure then your first visual will correct perfectly and your second visual fails what's the reason earlier if i choose the other way first visual got affected fail and second visual worked perfectly so here common column location is picked from sales table that means the filter direction is from sales to expenditure from sales to expenditure so the filter direction is from sales to expenditure that's why we have selected in the model view sales filters expenditure that's why it is working fine but my second visual is failing because in some visuals i can build reports with the common column taken from expenditure table as well in such cases what kind of uh, direction i should have like what kind of uh, cross filter direction i need to use i have to use both then only if you choose location from expenditure table or sales table that doesn't matter you are having this cross filter direction right you are having this cross filter direction cross filter direction as both you are having your cross filter direction as both then whichever uh, table that you prefer to pick up common column and construct your visual data will be filtered correctly clear guys what is exactly data filtering the data filtering is nothing but in the sale table in the sale table for hyderabad location i am having 21 lakh sales so it will go to expenditure table as we have selected both it will go to expenditure table for the same hyderabad city from same hyderabad city what is the expenditure it will filter expense it will filter expenditure data for the same hyderabad city the value 5 and the value 5 will be constructed for hyderabad city this way see hyderabad expenditure is 5 sale is 21 this is called filtering see the, here in the left side visual what is the blue color bar it is telling about sales information of which location amaravati guys following me yes sir okay. this visual telling me sales information of amaravati location so immediately as we have added expenditure value as well here so for this amaravati location data needs to be filtered from expenditure table for this location properly that's why we have mentioned sales filters expenditure whenever sale value constructed then respective expenditure value will be filtered based on the particular parameter here location is a parameter so whenever you try to filter from sales to expenditure your visual will work perfectly when you have this cross filter direction from sales to expenditure or both okay clear guys clear with this understanding yes sir everyone so i said i have given description in our whatsapp group right so and even the same description is available as part of our yesterday uploaded video youtube video so you can refer uh, <clears throat> that description as well that is very clear uh, a description um, written about uh, whatever concepts that we have discussed so far with respect to cardinality clear guys everyone if everyone is clear then i'll have few queries i'll ask you people if someone comes and ask you in the interview what is a cardi what is a cross joint direction cross filter direction cross filter direction what is your answer what is cross filter direction what it is doing it is specifying when two tables are used in a relation then it specify the direction of filtering the data it specifies the direction of filtering the data if i filter table 1 data then my table 2 data must needs to be filtered according to the value or not that will be decided based on this cross filter direction when when two tables are related when two tables are having relation then your cross filter direction will decide the way your table data needs to be filtered that is if table 1 data gets filtered then the respective data in table 2 must also be filtered that's the meaning 
if it is single it won't get filtered if it is both then if table b is filtered then table a data will be filtered table a is filtered then table b data will also be filtered clear guys clear and if you are having one to one or one to many or many to one guys carefully follow my words if you are having many to one one to one or one to many with these three cardinalities the possible options in the car cross filter direction is either single or both that's all okay but in case of many to many cardinality in case of many to many cardinality we will have additional options both is common option and the single type options will have two two options we are having that is table 1 filters table 2 data or table 2 data filters table 1 data or both both in the sense table 1 filters table 2 data table 2 filters table 1 data so these three options will come only for many to many cardinality remember clear guys yes sir okay perfect thank you okay so what is cardinality in power bi what is cardinality it, it tells relation between two tables that how they are correlated to each other on the common column basis perfect yeah. thank you what is your name shreya vishwakarma okay thank you okay so cardinality nothing but it's a relation between two tables and it specifies in what way they have related in what way they have related that is that is table 1 and table 2 are here and the relation between them is like 1 to 1 that is the key column value will occur only once in the other table with respect to table 1 and similar way the key column passport id will occurs only once with respect to table 2 in table 1 that's all okay whenever if anyone ask about cardinality always remember it's one to one one to many many to one many to many and cross filter direction the possible values for cross filter direction are both and single for these three cardinalities many to many one to one one to many but many to many what are the possible uh, what are the possible uh, cross filter uh, directions three both and table 1 filters table 2 table 2 filters table 1 and both we will have three options with many to many cardinality so this is all all these things like that we are discussing are comes under uh, data modeling part guys we are modeling how our data is related in between multiple tables and how our data is organized in multiple tables and how those tables are related clear guys is clear yesterday we have seen this example courses student uh, bits table and students and what were the what was the visual that we have constructed yesterday guys the visuals that we have the uh, that we yeah perfect now yeah. so now yeah. course wise student count course wise student count is one insight that we wanted to look at but when we go to our model courses and bridge table are having one to star that is one to many relationship that is course id will have one occurrence in courses table and the same course id will have multiple occurrences in bridge table and the right side student id is one and student id in bridge table is multiple one to many that is student id occurrence will be only once in the student table and the same student id will have multi occurrence in the bridge table in the middle table now we'll go and construct that one so right now what are the relation one to many many to one that we have with the bridge table from courses and student table that is having cross filter direction as both i'll change that one to single i'm changing that one to single so student to bridge table courses to bridge table i have changed cross filter direction as single now i'll go to my visual i want to no information like one single student is opted how many courses 
one single student opted how many courses? I'll open that data sheet so that you will understand better. This is not the sheet. Uh, These three are courses, course ID 1, 2, 3, SQL, MS, BA, Power BI, students 1, 2, 3, ABC, BCD, DEA. And this is bridge table, which tells one single student can opt to multiple courses. One single course can be opted by multiple students, which is many to many. Okay. Now, my intention is I want to understand one particular student opted how many courses. Student 1 opted one course, student 2 opted two courses, student 3 opted two courses, like that. And other way, other insight is course one opted by three students, course two opted by two students, course three opted by one student. That way I want to create a visual. So I'm going here. What are those two tables? Courses and student. Okay. Now, what I'm drawing up here, I want to see first student wise course count. I'm dragging up student name to this visual. It given all the student names and I want to use course count. It is giving all the course information this way. See here, course ID it is giving. So what I'll do, I'll format this visual so that uh, so course wise, so student wise course ID, which is same as like our data. Student 1, A, B, C having 1, 2, 3 courses. Student 2, B, C, D having 1, 3 courses. Student D, E, F having 3 courses. But I don't want to see data this way. I want to see data. I'm going to my visual back. And here, count I want to see. So instead of uh, actual, I'm seeing, I'm selecting count. Now see guys, it is showing for every student, it is showing 3 as a count, which is incorrect. See, I have chosen a name from which table? I have chosen a name from which table? From student table. Student. And course, course count from which table? Courses. Courses. So, what is happening here? Our student and courses table are related through some bridge table. Right? Your student and courses table are related courses and student tables are not directly related they are related between they are related with a bridge table in between them they are related with a bridge table in between them courses and student table guys clear so far clear so far everyone clear now what i am doing i am choosing student name and i want to know the course count for this student so from where data, from which place to which place data is flowing is filter, filter. My filter direction is from students to bridge table. Guys, from students to bridge table, true or not? True. Yeah. From bridge to courses table. This way my data is flowing, filter. I'm get. I'm trying to view data on the basis of student name and course count. Student name available here, from here to course ID count for the particular student. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll select this one. Sorry. So it has to go to this table from student to this table. And after that, it has to reach courses table, right? But see here, the flow is from student to flow. What is what kind of flow? It is flowing. Data is flowing from student. The relation is flowing from student to student course, right? The direction. You can see the direction. Able to see the direction from student to bridge table. What is the direction, guys? From it is flowing from student to bridge. Same is the case with courses to bridge table. So now what I'll do, I'll change this one. Because from student to bridge table, there is a flow happening. And here I'll change from bridge to courses also. I'll change the axis. Instead of single, I'll make it both between courses and bridge table. Between courses and bridge table, I'll make it both. I click on OK. See here, direction is changing. So on this on the basis of student name, I want to pick up courses IDs, courses actual courses are available here. And let's go to your visual. 
updated guys at least 333 were there now properly came values is clear is clear with this visual yes Everyone? yes okay. sir now i am constructing one more visual so guys i am repeating this session the reason is this is very very important thing to understand because this is the only area you have to put more focus like understand the actual underlying data related concept and the rest of things are like power query all options which are available on the top uh, ribbon that's all okay keep rows remove rows duplicates add column all these things and when it comes to actual uh, power uh, view also we'll have all the visuals here drag and drop that visual uh, bind the column do formatting assign the values like that but now what are the things that we are learning is about data modeling how data is how data is maintained and how data is getting related between multiple tables or data is getting organized and how the filter flow your data filter flow happen these are the underlying data related concepts that one has to have like full control on this full understanding okay so now i want to view one more in insight like that is that insight must be like in a different way that is like course wise student count i want to see course name by student count now in your model where course name available guys course name is available where in which table in course courses table so from i'll name i'll pick up course name for this course name i need to know the student id count so ultimately course name is related to bridge table here and it is two way bidirectional not is one way so i'll pick up student id here and my final student id source is my students table but the direction is different here if you look at this relation it is in reverse way from bridge to student data is or filter is not flowing the relation is not flowing from bridge to student this is from student to bridge now see let's construct a visual with the course name and the student count and see whether we'll be able to see that uh, exact uh, data or not so i am picking up course name from courses table and i'll pick up student id count and i'll change student id count count see guys now you people able to see correct values or uh, incorrect values it is incorrect right when i go to this relation course 1 course id 1 having how many students opted by how many student guys course 1 opted by student 1 and student 2 what is the count 2 course 1 is opted by two students And course two opted by how many students, guys? Five students. Only, only one student. And course three opted by three students. Three students. So what does it mean? What is the course size? One, two, three. SQL, MSBA, Power BI. So this is my order. SQL is opted by two members. MSBA opted by one member. Power BI opted by three members. Let's see. it is showing incorrect data so you have to understand so from where to where you are flowing your data your filtering is flowing data filtering we have related two tables courses and student and i have picked the course name from course name from courses table courses table courses table so go to relation from courses you are trying to fetch student ids student id count and ultimately the student id count must reach this student table right so here the relation between bridge to student is in the reverse way i'll change that one to both way now when you try to look or filter data from courses to student via your bridge table now your visual will work perfectly as expected see here now all three three is gone msba 1 sql 2 msba 1 sql 2 power by 3 power by 3 clear clear guys it is with bridge table everyone clear yes sir okay the big difference between single and both okay what is the difference when someone ask you descriptively answer what is your answer if it is single if it is single then the data the filters applied on this particular table 1 will not have any impact on table 2 data 
your table one data will be shown correctly like this students and courses but other side count will not be displayed correctly when you have cross filter direction as single this way when you have cross filter direction as both then the filtering happens in table one will have impact on table two will have correct data fetched or correct data filtered in table two as well clear this is with the bridge table guys many to many with bridge table this is without a bridge table directly we have taken two sources expenditure and sales this way uh, sales this way location sales mul for multiple years and uh, expenditure for different locus location I mean, location is a common column between sales and expenditure and location data we have taken this way location expenditure in lakhs and year and we have related these two tables on the basis of location column which is a common column and each value in sales location is each location value in sales will have multi occurrence in table and same way each value in expenditure table each location value in expenditure table is having multi occurrence in sales table which means many to many on location column many to many on location column see here many to many start to start on location column and we have selected both here because we need to have when you construct any visual using fields from these two tables then if if you want to have correct values then you have to change is this cross filter direction you have to set this cross filter direction perfectly like properly then only you will get correct data. clear guys yeah uh, i have one query related to when we can achieve with two tables by selecting both directions why we require this uh, bridging table in which scenario it will be exactly required bridging table when we can achieve directly with the both the tables okay so i have explained already so when we, we will have different different data sources to be consumed by power bi to create reports so the below scenario which is explained with only two tables mm. is of our excel file scenario so we can have such data given as part of excel sources i mean when data extracted from actual source and given in this format then we can use this approach but when we deal when we deal data when we deal source as a sql server or any other rdbms system then those systems will not have this kind of aggregated data summarized data we, we can say it is a summarized data clear summarized data location sell year that's all but when we deal sql server or any rdbms database as a source then those systems will contain data organized in this manner student data in one table courses data in one table and the relation between them is maintained through some bridge table like this course student course student course student mapping like this this is rdbms uh, way of organizing data so in such cases we have to understand if we have any such relation imported into our power bi then we have to understand how we can model our data such a way that if we filter data from one table to other table then that should uh, give proper and correct data that's why we are learning these two approaches clear oh, so you is... mean to say like uh, when we connect with database there won't be this bridging table which has to be created by us only no 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 this bridging table will also be there but we have to import our data as is like this with those three entities oh, okay after bringing data this way we have to decide like how to construct our visuals by using the relations among those three tables here i have taken simple example to excel file only actually this need not to be come i mean uh, this should not come from an excel source i have to connect to a database and i have to show how to import tables from database to your power bi but okay, i have okay. taken this excel source as it is easy for us to demonstrate and i have explained yesterday like uh, i'm choosing excel but ideally in excel file no one maintains data this way right no need right if i yeah. maintain like student name course name here itself then what is the point to maintain relation in excel file no one maintains this kind of relation basically these kind of relations will be maintained in the databases like this 
The data will be organized in RDBMS systems through relations. Data will be organized in different different tables, and those tables are connected through relation tables. Relation tables. Clear? So yeah. When we, uh, so whenever it is like uh, many to many concept, then we have to connect through all all uh, different different tables. Then this kind of uh, situation we have to take care. Yes, That's whenever we have yeah, whenever we have multiple tables imported which are having relation between them among them like this, whenever we have multiple tables imported from any database to a Power BI and they are having relation like this, then we have to properly define that cross filter condition to have the filter data flow from one table to other table clearly and cleanly. Okay, it's kind of another uh, definition of a relationship after we import the data. Correct. It's not relationship definition. It's like a filter condition. You can say filter criteria. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, why I asked is I, I am still thinking when in which scenario if if we do in a live scenario. If the database will be huge and the connectivity and modification will be huge, right? So in that case, this bridging table may not be that much feasible, right? So it all depends on the kind of structure we are dealing with. But okay. we will have in it's like uh, in regular database modeling, majority of databases are modeled this way. Whatever okay. I'm showing above, majority of databases are modeled, getting modeled this way because we do not have any other other approach. We will have two different tables, and those two tables has to be uh, related by some means. Then we will bring uh, one more table in between. If it is a many to many, if it is one to many, then it is like employee department case. See here, in employee table, we'll have department ID as one of the column, and it is like one to star, like one to many. We can maintain data this way. But when it whenever it comes to many to many, in such cases, definitely, it's like reverse way. When we have more than one table uh, related, sorry, more than two tables related, and are having a bridging table in between them, then it will falls under many to many, and we have to construct our uh, we have to model our data this way, and we have to define our filter condition this way, and we have to follow this approach only. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Kiriti. Kiriti. Okay. Fine. Thank you. So clear, guys. Everyone. The key words you have to remember here is cardinality. This is first thing. And one to one. Sorry. What is one to one? What is one to many? What is one? So many to one. What is many to many? And one more word. Cross filter direction. Okay, these are the keywords, guys, in this session. Okay, remember them. I remember that I have. Okay. Okay. Hope everyone is clear, guys, with this. I I recommend. I like. I suggest everyone. to take whatever sources i have given i have already uploaded our sources um here in our uh, day 17 folder i have uploaded both the many to many and relationship uh, excel files where you have uh, all the sources that we have demonstrated here and i suggest everyone do this practice definitely without fail so that you can get full control on cardinality concept with the practice not with the learning not with the session I'm just attending the session. Okay, definitely do that exercise. Okay, good. Clear, guys, everyone. So far, clear. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. If it is possible, can you please explain this bridge table with uh, real-time scenario, sir, which you have to face? definitely definitely like can explain but not i believe like it is not the right time to uh, discuss that thing as majority of team members uh, maybe including you also we are not having a, a knowledge on sql right how the data what is yes. the table how the data is stored in the table and how 
those tables are related, how we create relation between tables. So once you uh, start learning SQL, then this concept will be very easy for you people to understand. Like you can, you'll be able to uh, correlate this concept just by going through all the SQL concepts. Okay. So yeah. right now, let's suppose today's day 18 session in Power BI. And Power BI day 18 session is very easy for you people who are already having understanding in SQL. Now, data is getting stored in table and how data is getting organized in the RDBMS systems. Okay. I'll definitely take that session. I'll definitely demonstrate real time scenarios, uh, but I'll take that session once uh, every one of you are uh, done with our SQL training. We're okay. planning for SQL trainings, but we are not, we are unable to accommodate timings uh, and every day. So that's why it is getting delayed, but definitely we'll start SQL because without SQL, uh, if you have power bay knowledge, then that won't be uh, a good asset for you. So SQL with the combination of Power BI is a good asset for you in the job market. Okay. But for now, okay. at least you are able to understand like right, how data is related, how this bridge table is created. Yes, sir. That, okay. If that, if you have that understanding, good, fair enough. So guys, I hope everyone is aware of like how this table is constructed. The general scenario terminology that I used is like one student can opt to multiple courses. One course can be one student can opt multiple courses and one course, can, one course can be opted by multiple students. If I say that way, then how to organize that data? One student, student one opted course one, student one opted course two, student one opted course three. My first statement is true. One single student can opt to multiple courses. And my second statement is one single course can be opted by multiple students. Like course three opted by student one, student two, student three. So these IDs are coming from these two tables, course ID and student ID. And this is bridging table, relational table. Clear everyone? Okay. What is power pivot guys? What are power pivot components? Power pivot use it to model your data. And Power Pivot contains two important components. One is data view and the other one is model view. Using model view, you can have the existing relations detected and you can manage all the relationships between the tables. And also you can define cross filter conditions. And whereas through data view, you can do enhanced data modeling. Enhanced data modeling in the sense, you can add new columns, new tables, new measures on top of your loaded data. Now tell me how many components Power Pivot contains? Two. Two. Data view and model view. Data view and model view. And what is the uh, role of model view? What is role of model view? It detects relations. relations. We can create relations, we can manage relations, and we can model data. And what about data view? We can perform enhanced data modeling where DAX data analysis expression uh, functions will come into picture. Okay. Anyway, we'll learn all the things one by one clearly. But remember, Power Pivot is kind of a storage for us. Whichever data that you do, extract, transform through Power Query, that data will be loaded and saved in Power Pivot. And on top of the data, Power Pivot allows you to model the data. And it has two components, model view and data view. Through model view, you can model your data in terms of relations. And through data view, you can model your data. You can perform enhanced data modeling through DAX expressions by adding, creating new columns and new tables. You'll come to know, wow, already table data loaded to Power Pivot, but what is adding new column and new table again? You'll come to know one, one by one as we progress through Power Pivot discussions. And now I am expecting only thing from you people, whatever things that we have discussed so far through model view, like one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many, and are the cardinalities and all the cross filter directions are clear or not. I'm expecting only that thing. You, you people need to be very clear on those concepts, which you have demonstrated here in our session. That is my expectation, guys. To, the, to proceed further, that is my expectation. Okay. Good. Now, as we say, as we said, like power pivot is a storage kind of, uh, power pivot uh, provides a storage for our loaded data. And data is getting loaded from Power Query. 
okay that data is getting stored with power pivot on top of uh, on top of the data we are modeling through model view and we are can do enhance data modeling through data view okay now so far we have seen example of so far we have seen example of loading data through excel source file now i'll demonstrate i'll demonstrate loading the data from sql server from one of the rdbms system so i'm having a, see guys if you do not understand any concept of this database related things that i'm explaining right now don't get uh, like uh, don't get tense okay not at all it's not at all a problem uh, anyway we are going to explain all the sql related concepts right so you people able to correlate this session when you start learning sql part okay for now you remember this way you try to understand this way you try to understand this way rdbms rdbms relational database management system rdbms system it is nothing but a database which contains which organize data in terms of tables table 1 table 2 table 3 like this and these tables will have relation in between them as i have shown you in the excel file this way courses students and student right so what i'll do students and we are having courses table and we are having student versus courses table you may get you may i mean i, I believe like a majority of people will be having a question in your minds that uh, why we have to go for maintain the third table so that is uh, but we are maintaining third table that because of like there is a concept in database rdbms which is called normalization we have to strictly follow few rules in organizing our data there should not be any duplication maintained we need to have some key columns maintained in the table so there are few normalization rules based on normalization rules we are organizing our table data then your bridge table comes into picture so you can say so one student can have multiple uh, students in a bridge table and one course will have multiple courses in bridge table this way you are having a relation in the database rdbms system you can say these three are tables guys so whichever sheet that we are referring here every sheet treat as a table every single sheet in excel file if you treat every single sheet as a table and these tables are having relations like this then that particular excel sheet data will be organized in rdbms in our systems this way student is one table courses is one table student versus courses is a bridge table and we have relation this way okay and data is maintained inside tables student table courses table i'll show you how it is so i'm having this system or rdbms a database server a software installed on my machine and i can access i can access this software using a client using a client called microsoft management studio right now i'm using rdbms system m microsoft sql server okay this microsoft sql server or rdbms database can be accessed using a client called microsoft sql server management studio is a client so using this client i connect to this database and in this database whichever tables i am having those tables i can access so here i am opening management studio mss microsoft sql server management studio and this studio allowing me to connect database on this server see here this is my server name on this server this is the name of the database i have installed sql express and this is my server name okay so i have when i connect to that server i will be able to see all the databases available under that particular database server one database server can contain multiple dbs multiple databases so these three tables will comes under one db you can say db1 and these three student courses uh, bridge table comes under db2 table so like that we can have multiple databases inside databases we will have multiple tables and those tables will have relations among them so this is high level thing guys guys clear everyone <laughs> is clear so far high level at least yes yes everyone people who are not having sql background you people able to understand this 
Yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you. So this way we'll access database related uh, tables from client. See, I have connected through a client. I'm I'm having uh, different different databases here. So I'll open training uh, database here. Inside training database, we'll have different different data, different different tables. We're having different different tables inside training. So one uh, such table is EMP. I'm opening EMP table. I'm right clicking and select the data. So which stores the data, which shows the data that's stored in the database. See here, this this table, EMP table, having three columns, employee ID, name, and address. And the values are one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, D, the names, and one, two, three, four, six are the address information. And I'll open one more table. Um, I'll open product table. Name of the table is product. So it is having three columns. Product table having three columns. Product ID, product name, product price. Okay. And product name is pulse oximeter, Puma shoes, Samsung M31 IFB, Senator 8KG, and price information. Okay. Clear everyone? This way data is getting organized in the database. Inside data, inside database server, inside RDBMS server, we'll have different, different databases. Inside each database, we'll have multiple tables. Now, how to connect to one of these uh, one of these uh, databases and uh, fetch data from one of the table like product into Power Bay? We'll see now. So, I'm going to get data option, or here you can directly fetch the data using SQL Server option. So, I am choosing SQL Server option. Get data SQL Server. Guys, clear so far, everyone? Guys. Everything clear so far? Okay. So I'm choosing get data, get data from SQL Server. Okay. As soon as I select SQL Server, it opens a pop-up window. Give the connection of SQL Server details, connection details of SQL Server. Earlier, when I choose Excel, then it is showing a window to select my Excel file. My Excel file can be available on C drive, D drive, desktop, download folder, anywhere. So I can choose that folder and select Excel file and I will, we were able to import that Excel data into Power BI. Now, as we have chosen SQL Server option, it is like, I told you, right, um, in this diagram, SQL Server installed on my mission. So SQL Server will be installed on a server. Server will have some name or IP. So you can connect to the particular SQL data, RDBMS uh, or MS SQL Server using the name and using the name of that server, name or IP address of that particular server, nothing but a computer, yes. Server, nothing but a computer, name of name or IP address of that computer. See, we call, we identify humans by name. Computers are identified by, computers also identified either by name or IP address. That's all. Okay. Now, what I do here, I'll show you name of my server is this thing. I'm going to properties. So this is name. Name of my server is this one. This is name of my server. Now, here, what are the database that we are having? I'm choosing training database. Inside this server, I'm choosing training database. So I'm doing control C. I can give database name also here. If I do not know database name, you simply don't say, I'll give database name and see. We are having important direct query. We will discuss about this later. For now, I'm giving a scale server uh, name, name in the sense, name. After that, I'm giving database name, like this DB1 or uh, DB2, like this, DB1 or DB2, this one. And once I give, I'm clicking on OK. What it will do, Power Bay will connect to that particular server and particular database training. And it's showing 31. What is the 31, guys? 31, nothing but whatever the object count, the table count, see here. If I drill down this, we are having different, different tables inside this training database. So those tables are getting displayed here. So what is first table name? Aadhaar DB in the database, address, attrition. So in Power BI also Aadhaar DB, address, attrition, all these things got loaded. Now out of these tables, I'm interested in only product table. So I'm selecting product table. So it is showing data from your database in the navigator window. See, this is a product data, which we have seen through your my MS SQL Management Studio client. Select start from product. This is your product data. The same product data 
or be I able to fetch and show you? Clear, guys? Yes, clear? Everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm clicking on transform data instead of loading it directly. Okay. The preview may be okay. And here it is showing our desk. It is having some relation with order table. That's why order table also came. I'll explain this concept. See, this product table internally related with one order table. Order table. So that's why as it is having relation with order table, I am getting, when I try to load uh, this uh, product data, I'm getting order table link as well here. This way. Because it is having relation with order table as well. For now, I'll do cancel. I'll remove this column. I'm having four rows of product data. I'll click on close and apply. As soon as I close and apply, my product table data will be loaded into Power Pivot. Power Pivot components are data view and model view. Data view, if I go to data view, in the data view, under products table, where is product? Under product table, I'll be able to see the data. And in the model view, in the model view, I'll be able to see that model entity without any relation because I have imported only one table right now from database. Clear so far? Yes, clear? Sir. Okay. Yes. Now, what I'll do, similar way, I'll choose SQL Server. I'll give same name. Yeah. I'll give same name. give same server name and training database here instead of import i'll choose direct query earlier product table imported using of op which option guys import option now i'm choosing direct query option i'm clicking on ok so now i, I was offered with all the list of tables available here i'll select other db table so other db table contains these many these many Rows. I'll show you other DB values also here in the database. So other DB containing these many values. Okay. This way. Other number, name, gender, pin, state. Okay. So other number, name, gender, pin, state. So we're able to see the data. 10 rows of data. 10 rows of data. I'm clicking on transform data. It is having relation with other table. That's why we are seeing other uh, table identified by Power BI the last table tax db so i'll remove this column now five columns are there i'm simply click close and closing and apply and see your power pivot will be refreshed potential securities you want to build a model when you add a second data source information from one data source might be included in the queries sent to other data sources only now I'll be able to see my other DB also loaded here. Other DB also loaded here. Now I'm going to my model. And here, as I select other DB, do we see anything, guys? Here? Other DB? No, no. no. When I choose product, I'll no. be able to see data. But when I select other DB, I'll be unable to see any data in Power Pivot. The reason is this table uses direct query option. In the sense, it will not maintain the copy of other DB data in Power Pivot. It will it will not read this data during ETL. Like in the Power Query Editor, it will load the data for transformation purpose. But as soon as you commit, load and close and load, that time it won't save this data in Power Pivot. It won't maintain because we have chosen direct query option. What does it mean? So whenever you we construct any visual, so what I'll do, I'll take a table. On this table, what I'll do, I'll simply, from other DB, I'll simply select other number, name, gender, state, pin code. This information I'm showing here. So, I'll say do not summarize. Other number, I'll, I'll say do not summarize. So, and here, this visual, I'm increasing 
So this data I'm showing in uh, a table. Okay. So now I'll remove these visuals yes, for now. Okay. How many rows? 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows. Okay. Now, and I'll construct one more uh, table using product table, product data. So product name, product price. Product name and product price. And I'll go to visual uh, formatting. So I'll say, I'll go to visual. Do not summarize. Okay. This is my product data. This is my other data. We are having header, but with the small fonts, but let's try to um, increase them as well. So that it will be good fun. Mm. Now, fair enough. Now, what I'll do, import will maintain a separate copy. I have imported data of product table through import option. That's why we are maintain, uh, power pivot maintaining a separate copy of product data. So that data will be limited. Like So while loading a product table into Power BI, you are having four rows. Only four rows data will be loaded here. But whereas for other DB, there is no data here because we have chosen direct query option. In the sense, whichever data, whichever latest data that is available on the database side, that will be directly queried. So while constructing other DB in a Power Pivot, I'm having 10 rows data. In future, if I run my report, by that time in future, like five more records added, then every time I'll get latest data from the database directly. In my visual, I'll be seeing latest data which is available on database. But in this product visual, you'll be seeing the data which is available with your power pivot, not with the database. You guys following me? You guys following me? Yes, sir. In case in case if, if you have modified the data in the DB in the direct query method. So that will reflect here directly. Yes, but suppose yes, if yes. you have removed one row in other DB out of 10 rows, if you removed one row and it is now nine rows, so it will directly impact. Yes, yes, but yes. whatever the modification we do in DB, that only will be considered by Power BI. It, it will not do any modification for the DB. From here to there, it will not happen. Is it correct? No, it in reverse way, it won't affect. In reverse way, it won't work. It won't okay. Work. Okay. So import maintains a separate copy of data. Maintains a separate copy of data. Import. In the power pivot, it maintains a separate copy. Data copy will be maintained. And this data copy will be used in power view. Directly, this data will be used. Data from Power View, data from Power Pivot. Data from Power Pivot will be used in Power View. Reporting purpose. When you choose import option, when you choose import option, but in case of in case of direct query option, you will not have any data maintained in Power Pivot. So you'll get direct data from DB. Let's suppose this is uh, one second. We are having, so DB symbol is this one, guys, cylinder symbol. This is DB symbol. So let's say database. Input and direct query. And direct query will bypass Power Pivot. It won't refer to Power Pivot to data. It will have data loaded from DB directly in the Power View, not in the Power Pivot. No copy maintained with Power Pivot.
Okay. Clear guess? High level at least? It is evident also because with product table, we are able to see data in power pivot in the data view. But with other DB, which we use in, uh, which we have, uh, which we used uh, the red query option, it is not showing any data. And go here. Okay. So now tell me, this data is getting fetched from where? Fetched from where? This table data getting fetched directly from the DB. DB. And product data is getting fetched from your power, power pivot. pivot. Power pivot. Power pivot product data. Clear is? Whenever you run any report with the direct query option, then this report with the, uh, whichever visual uh, designed with the direct query option that will have the data latest data available from DB and that will be displayed here. And the visuals which we have, which are constructed using uh, table, which is imported using import option that will have data loaded from your power pivot. And it won't refer to the latest data, latest modifications made on the database side for the product table. If you have added a few more products and modified existing product, deleted one product. So those things will not be reflected here until unless you go on manually refresh here. Until unless you go on refresh here manually. Okay. I'll do one thing. I'll save this uh, report. DB demo. I'm saying DB demo. Uh, okay. I'm saving this report. Okay. DB demo I have saved. So right now four records are there in the power uh, product table, which is imported using import option. And whereas other DB is not having any data maintained with power pivot, it is having 10 rows of data in the database. Four rows for product and uh, 10 rows here uh, for other. Now what I'll do, I'll, I'll delete uh, this first record. Six, four, otherwise I'll add one record, why to delete? Insert into. So guys, if you do not understand this index, not a problem at all. Don't worry, I'll make you people uh, definitely understand uh, things with respect to SQL. I'll uh, definitely teach you all the key things of SQLs. Okay. Insert into other table values. I'll insert 9999 uh, AAA mail and I'll give some non and I'll give status AP and the same I have to enclose in single quotes AP as well thanks BBB I'll give name yeah so all files. I'll give some match. I'm inserting two records into this table. Two rows I have inserted now. My row count is 12 in other DB. Okay. Now in Power Pivot, I'll also insert insert and values I'm inserting. Uh, five. I'll say Panasonic air conditioner, and I'll say some forty thousand. Now I'll insert on no product six electric scoot fits. I'll say some twenty five thousand. Two products I have inserted into product table. Why? What's the problem? Sit value for identity. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Product name and product price. I have inserted two rows. I'm choosing. Now how many rows data I'm having guys? Six rows data in product table. And 12 rows data in other table. Other table is a direct uh, query option uh, related one. Uh, product table is of import related one. And when I imported my data, product table is having how many entries? Only four entries. After that, two more entries were added. So as of now in Power uh, BI, in Power Pivot, product table containing only four entries. Okay. 
Yes, clear, everyone. Everyone clear? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. I, I just close my report. I have closed. I have closed my report. I am going and opening my demo, DB demo, Power BI report one more time. Within two minutes, we'll conclude. Yes. So this one loads data directly from DB. This is slower because every time it has to get the data from database, it has to establish a connection to database server, which is a separate mission. Import is faster. Loads data from Power Pivot. And this is faster. This is faster. Because it, in Power View, data will be loaded from Power Pivot only, not, to, not from the database. Okay. Now see guys, my report opened. How many uh, entries I'm seeing? The two entries have added nine nine, uh, and other entries like one one one. Hey, these are the new uh, entries that I have added right in the DB. See nine 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 one 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 one. The these entries are there, reflected here in my visual, which is directly import, uh, which is which is of uh, direct query option, other table. Guess clear? Yes sir. Okay. Now, but in product table, I'm seeing only four entries, but I have added two more entries like Panasonic AC and uh, electric uh, scooter kits. The data not came here. Why? Data is getting loaded from Power Pivot, not from the database for your product table. But whereas for your other DB direct query option we have chosen, that's why data is getting loaded from directly from DB. So whichever data that is available on the DB, the same data will be loaded directly. And now if I refresh, then I'll be able to see my product table is the product table data updated in Power Pivot from four products to six products. And then same data will be loaded in your Power View. See, I'm explicitly choosing refresh option. Refresh is happening. We have chosen, we have used multiple files, multiple DBs, right? That's why it is taking some time. Done. And the visual affected. Able to see now? Electric scooter kits and the Panasonic AC. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. See, remember, power, direct query will load data directly from DB every time. But it is slower because we have to connect to DB every time. DB is a separate, uh, a separate server. So it takes some time to connect, uh, to establish connection, read the data, and fetch the data and show here in a power view, visual. But whereas with case of import, data will be available, a copy will be available with Power Pivot. So data will be loaded from Power Pivot to Power View. It is faster. And when we use import, if we, if you have only limited data, because Power Pivot is having only 10 GB limitation with the data size. Power Pivot can maintain only 10 GB uh, size data. Okay, if you have minimum like uh, if data size is less, minimum number of records, then import option is good. If you are having 100 GBs, data size is huge. Data size is huge, like 100 GB or terabytes data, then that data cannot be imported into Power Pivot. Power Pivot limitation is only 10 GB. This limitation for Power, power Pivot. Okay. Power Pivot having 10 GB limitation. That's why when we have 100 GB or terabytes of data to be loaded into Power BI to, for visualization purpose, then we have to use direct query option. Using direct query, we can connect to database directly and we can load the data. No need to maintain, uh, the data will not be maintained with Power Pivot. So no storage issue will come into picture. Only schema part will be loaded here. Schema part in the sense, see here. In the model view, you can see your data model this way, your table model this way, like other DB, these are the columns, this is numeric column, like this, you'll get information this way, okay, only schema will be loaded, but data will not be loaded in the data view for other DB, if you use direct query option, clear guys everyone, import is faster, direct query is slower, we'll use import option when the data size is less, we use direct query when data size is used, because our power pivot having a limitation of 10 GB space, Clear, everyone? Yes. Okay. So just wanted to uh, demonstrate like how to read the data from database. So 
that's all guys for the day so if you have any questions just ask me otherwise we'll connect tomorrow and i'll share the video and content tonight yeah. so yeah tell me when we uh, choose direct query sir um, we'll be able to allow to transform the data in power bi yes perfect good question yes in power query editor we will be able to transform data i can demonstrate that choosing the direct query sir i'm choosing the direct query so what i'll do uh, so i'm going to uh, here i'm going to transform data option transform data i'm choosing in the transform data so i'm choosing uh, aadhar db see data is loaded data is loaded for your visualization purpose Okay. Yes, this is sir. refreshing. Yeah. So, Power Query Editor allow you to view the data even though you use Direct Query option because you need to perform some transformations, right? So, those transformations will be recorded as the steps, and in the future, those steps will be applied on the same columns on the same data of the particular same table. That's all. But Power Pivot will not hold this data. Okay. Power Query Editor allowing or showing only this data for. transformation purpose to create to create transformation rules not to transform the data if you transform data here it won't uh, reflect in the database back okay you are preparing your data for visualization for reporting purpose as per your needs clear but will it not impact uh, in the future when the uh, when some data has been changed first uh, we have transferred something after uh, doing a direct connectivity will it not impact in the future when the data changes in the database definitely that's why those whatever the rules that we have defined here steps mm -hmm. transformation steps those will automatically gets applied whenever you open this data with the power okay. query editor so you mean to say whatever we have did, did modification here uh, again it will get applied when the data is changed in the database yes correctly exactly okay 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 clear guys yes okay good thank you guys then i'll meet you tomorrow